My name is Iman, and um, I'm from a place called Nigeria. Some of you cheered, some of you are like, oh, we know your people. Because you guys know my people, don't you? Because you know, my people are the ones that send you guys emails. Yeah. I'm not yet to tell jokes. No, I'm yet to collect more information, OK? I'm also here to say it's very rude not to reply to people's emails. Very <laughs> freaking rude, OK? My family came to Ireland in the 90s. We came all the way from Nigeria to a town called Kedel. That was, that's where we lived, in Kedel, the only black family in Kedel. And my mom came to Ireland to live the Irish dream. Yeah. <laughs> People go to America, right, to live the American dream. And what is the American dream? If you start off with nothing, and if you work hard every day, you will make a million. What's the Irish dream? You start off with nothing, and if you work hard every day, you will be an alcoholic. <laughs> Promise you that, okay? The 90s in Kedel, everybody was white, you know? Casper the ghost white, the KKK white, you know? <laughs> Kim Kardashian clan white, okay? <laughs> All the white family in Kedel, nobody was gonna know my name. They called me the black boy, which is correct, you know? <laughs> I'm black, I'm a boy, observation skills on point. <laughs> so my name is Iman, black boy is easier. Okay, we go with that. Then I started playing football in school. I started playing soccer in school, and I was like, um, and everyone said to me, Iman, we won't call you the black boy because that is racist. I was like, thank you. <laughs> Some of us has a bit of sense. You're like, yes, we do, Iman. I was like, oh, thank you very much. They started calling me Thierry Henry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was fun in school, you know, in school, because I never like reading. I never like reading in school because I have no problem reading to myself. I have no problem reading to myself, but I can't read out loud, okay? Even till today, I cannot read out loud, okay? Because if I'm reading to myself and I get to that word I do not know, what do you do when you read to yourself? You skip it. Yes, you do. You're like, yeah. I don't know this word in this book, so I'ma just skip this word. I might skip this page, okay? This, this. Let me try and look for the audio version, okay? Something gotta give, okay? But in school, we had to read every single paragraph. You guys remember that? In school, we used to read a book called Macbeth, okay? And the teacher in my class used to say to the class, class, get your books out, and you're gonna start reading because you're in the front row. And I used to get up and run to the back of the class <laughs> and say to myself, by the time it gets to me, the bell will fucking ring, okay? <laughs> But just in case the bell doesn't ring, I'm gonna count everybody in my class and count how many paragraphs there is in the book. And I say to myself, there's 22 students in this class, and I count 22 paragraphs, and I read that paragraph like my life depends on it, you know? And then I get to that word I do not know, but I can't skip it, so I ask the little beside, hey, buddy, hey, what is this word? And it says to me, Iman, that is because. <laughs> You're 16, mate. How the fuck don't you know what because is? Now, in school, there are three types of readers in school. Three types of readers. Yes, the first type of readers, I like to call them the AA readers, the news anchors of readers. Them kids that volunteer to read. You know them kids in school? Hey, miss, can we read? And you're like, shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> Nobody wants to fucking read, okay? And this kid reads so well, right, that when they start reading, a bright light shines from the heaven and appears on their head, okay? And everybody in class is saying to themselves, I hope you never graduate. I hope you fail everything you ever do in your life, you talented human being. As a matter of fact, I hope you go home and your parents tell you they're getting a divorce and nobody's fighting for custody, okay? <laughs> we have the B type of readers. I like to call them ET. The reason I call them ET is because these are the kids that have no trouble reading if their finger is on the page. <laughs> you guys know them kids in school, yeah? The kids that follow the words with the finger because the power is in the finger, isn't it? If they take it out, they're going to mess up, so they're going to put it back in. And then we have the C type of readers, the dyslexic type of readers. And these are the kids that have dyslexia, but nobody wants to make fun of them because they have dyslexia. And Billy is reading. And everybody in class is saying to themselves, Billy, you can fucking do this. <laughs> And Billy reads and everyone keeps their mouth shut. And the teacher goes over to Billy and says, Billy, that was amazing. That was so good. And she takes a confetti and throws it in his face. <laughs> and the whole class stands up and gives him a standing ovation. 
And teacher says to me, Iman, start reading. And I cannot mess up because I've memorized my paragraph. A lot of times I know every word. And I'm reading and I'm doing a good job. And I'm close to finishing. And I see everybody in my class saying to themselves, what page is Iman fucking on, okay? <laughs> Billy looks at me and says, ah, Iman, you cannot read. Shut the hell up, Billy, okay? <laughs> I thought Nigeria was doing okay, you know? Then I came here and I saw choker ads. <laughs> And in Troca Ads, it comes on on TV and says, every day a young black family has to walk 12 miles for a bucket of water. Please donate one euro to Buter a well. If you have to walk 12 miles for a bucket of water, I will tell the family, move your family to the river, okay? <laughs> like, don't give them money, give them a bit of advice, okay? <laughs> now, in Ireland, a few years ago, the Irish, the, in Ireland, right, the government was gonna bring in the water charges and everybody went mad because no one wanted to pay for the water charges. But I wanted the government to bring it into Ireland because I wanted to go back home to Nigeria, turn on the TV and see Siobhan, okay? <laughs> And Siobhan has to walk 12 miles in the pissing rain to get a bucket of water for a family. Please donate all the money Siobhan donated back to Siobhan. Thank you very much. My name is Imani Dabber. <laughs>